But the big story that's breaking at this moment, voting is now underway in the United States of America for one of the most polarized and hotly contested elections in decades. Over 78 million voters have already cast their early ballots. Alaska will be the last, remember, to cast votes. Philadelphia starts counting mail-in ballots. And Pennsylvania, remember, many believe is critical to who wins, Donald Trump or Kamala Harris. That's the big question that now will dominate the world headlines over the next 24 hours in an election that could create a slice of history. Donald Trump hoping to become a comeback president, having lost four years ago. And uh, Kamala Harris hoping to become the first woman president of the United States. So there's plenty at stake in... Okay, Rohit Sharma joining me live at the moment from Washington, D.C., Rohit, you were with us last night. The campaigning is now over in a way and it's time for the votes. Give us a sense of what that early turnout is suggesting. Uh, are there people coming out in large numbers, particularly women, as some reports are suggesting? We are, uh, Rajdeep. We are right now in you know one of the centers around Washington, D.C., uh, and people are coming in. Look, it's not a holiday, so people you know, came in troves in the early morning hours. People started lining up as early as 6.30 a.m. And right now, you know, we'll probably see another wave of people come when it's during the lunch hour. And the third wave would be the last, which would be around evening time after 4.30 p.m. People are turning in. People are excited, Raji. That's what I want to tell you. I've talked to a lot of people here. People are really excited to vote in this election. People are not sitting at home letting, you know, other people decide their fate. And that's one interesting aspect. The other thing that I've seen, I've observed, and I've talked to a lot of people not willing to talk on the camera is there seems to be an underlining sense of support for Trump. I've talked to some Indian Americans. I've talked to some African Americans. Off the record, you know, they don't want to say on, the, on camera, but they are actually coming in and voting for Donald Trump. On the other side, you know, we talked about women voters. They are overwhelmingly voting for Kamala Harris. And the fact that, you know, when you ask them, you know, why, their answer is abortion and reproductive rights. So I think both the campaigns, you know, we were looking at covering them for months here uh, from America. We've stuck to those themes that abortion is going to be a very important issue. And I think if Kamala Harris wins this election tonight, it would be because of women voters. And I, I said it before too, Raj, the small counties in Pennsylvania, small counties in North Carolina, in Arizona, in Georgia. That's where the selection will be decided. But at the same time, you know, we could also be in for a big surprise. Trump could win this in a blowout if, if we believe, if some pollsters, if you believe some of the pollsters who have said that there is an underlining Trump wave. And I've gotten a little bit of hint when I've talked to some people that, yes, there are African-American, Indian-American voters who are overwhelmingly voting for Donald Trump, Rajdeep. Uh, when will we get the first clear trends? Uh, presumably by, uh, by 2 a.m. India time, we should start getting trends. So when, when by U.S. time will you get trends in a few hours well, from now? Well, look, Rajdeep, uh, usually on the east coast of the, of the United States, we'll, there are three different time zones, east, central, and Pacific. Uh, the 7 p.m., which would be, I think, 5.30 a.m. your time is when the poll will, polls will close. It usually takes about an hour, hour and a half uh, when we start getting initial projections. Now, Rajdeep, a lot of networks have invested a lot of money in making those projections and prediction is going to win. Uh, and it's dependent on the exit polls that are getting conducted across the nation right now in polling centers like this. When voters come out, you know, all these networks are asking people who, did, who they voted for. They will simulate that data with uh, the past uh, election data and then make those projections. So we might get a sense of it early tomorrow morning from India's standpoint, Raj. Deep around 6.37 a.m. your time is when we will know who's winning and who's, who's going to be possibly a mm -hmm. projected winner in some of the states. Now, also very important, Raj Deep. Some of these swing states have different laws. I mean, in Pennsylvania, you know, you're allowed to vote as long as you're in a queue. So even if the poll was at 8, 8 p.m., as long as you're in the queue, people will get to cast their vote. And those votes are tallied first. Also, I have to remind our viewers about the mail-in ballots. These mail-in ballots are across the nation have different set of rules when they come to counting. In the state of Virginia, these mail-in ballots have been tallied, which means that they do not have to count them. They just have to be able to run it and show the results of who's winning in this state. But there are other states 
where, you know, you have to basically count those ballots with hands. And then there are other counties, smaller counties in America, where if the margin of error is between 500 votes, you automatically go to recounting of those votes. So if it's a close election, which has been projected over months now, we will probably see some results getting delayed, especially in so those swing states of Pennsylvania, Michigan, possibly Georgia and Arizona as well. So we could have a couple of long days ahead. America last time, if you recall, went down to the wire, particularly with states like Georgia. Uh, took more than 48 hours before there was any kind of clarity. So this could be a very long week ahead for you, Rohit. Thanks very much for joining me there from Washington, D.C.